Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Sorry to bother y'all again on y'all y'all Sabbath, but there's been a big update, you guys. This storm is rapid intensifying, Tropical Storm Ada. Now it's at 50 miles per hour, so it's been jumping. It went from 40 to 50, and I beg to differ of its intensity because I'm showing that just by their information that they actually found even stronger data, uh, but they're just not saying so yet. They're probably going to wait till the 1 p.m., to show that it's consistent and then say then. But I am showing that we on the verge of being a potential high-end tropical storm, very low-end hurricane. So we will see what, what becomes of this. It is at 996 millibars now. And once you get down to about 987 is really when the winds should start intensifying to, to hurricane force winds or around 70 miles per hour. So that's what we need to watch for. Now, as far as the cone, the cone has not changed. It's still showing tropical storm. The watches and warnings also have not changed. Tropical storm watches have extended further down uh, Cuba because of the more eastern push, of course, because it has made a more eastern push. Now, it's not following the Euro model. Like I've been saying, the GFS is correct, guys, especially the V16. It is on track. Now, if you notice, it makes a more eastern turn. So that means more people are in the cone for all of Florida as well as, as Georgia. And I do have the impacts for you guys. Now, as far as the one to five inches rainfall, uh, one to five days uh, rainfall expected, everything has kind of shifted a little bit north on the east side of Florida as far as the one, one to two inches in the light green, two to four in the dark green, four to six in the yellow, as well as the six to ten in the orange. It has all shifted a little more northern now because it's more of an eastern storm. And now that it's more eastern, also Bahamas is in danger now for 6 to 10 inches of heavy rainfall in central Bahamas and northern Bahamas 4 to 6 inches. Now the storm surge uh, ha has not changed anything except for the north is going to be 2 to 3 feet now instead of 1 to 2, one to two feet. That's the only change out of any of the storm surge. Uh, tropical storm force winds have changed. You can see the path now that it is making. And thank God the heaviest part of the winds is going to be over water. However, uh, western Bahamas, you are expected up to 60%. If you see down here, uh, tropical storm force winds, and it gets weaker as it goes more east. Uh, northern Bahamas, you got about 30 to 40%. Uh, also for you, Cuba, you also have the 30 to 40% for the tropical storm force winds. But southern Florida, you mostly in uh, up to 40% and less as you go more northern. But now it's all of Florida as well as a little bit of Alabama and a little bit of Georgia on the winds. Now here's the data from, from NOAA. This is from Tropical Tidbits. Y'all know Levi Cow and he's a very smart guy. He's a genius. And if you see down here, up to 60 miles per hour is, is in that red. I'm sorry, up to 60 knots is in that red. And 60 knots, guys, is 70 miles per hour. And they have found a few in there in the past. But I don't know why they're not calling it for that speed, but it did bump it up to 50. I think they're just trying to be on the safe side. But if you ask me, they have found 70 miles per hour winds already because they're showing 60 miles per hour, uh, 60 knot winds in the passes already. And that's the, the yellow. I mean, I'm sorry, the red. If it was a dark red, we would have to worry. Then we would know it's going to intensify towards a hurricane. So this tells me more like 65 to 70 miles per hour winds would be more accurate. We have to wait and see if they update the information at 1 o'clock on that. That's just what I'm seeing. Now, here's the, the model. All the models are in agreement. So it's going to curve. Uh, some are showing a little bit later, which would cover even more area to the north. But they are showing that once it gets to the eastern uh, Gulf of Mexico, that's going to do a sharp curve to the east. And it's going to be coming in somewhere around Tampa. So watch out Tampa, uh, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Virginia as well. I'm showing it's going to be in this rainfall event. Now, just a side reminder, you know how I like to keep up on, the, on these tracks, on these future storms. As you know, this just... Storm that we're having right here is starting to intensify a little bit. The colors are coming together, so I think it will be intensified. But however, there is no blue. There is no dark blue. Just a little bit shader, harder, uh, more of, of, of dark blue would, it, would show that it would be up to hurricane force strength. And I'm not showing that at all in the model. So I think they will intensify a little bit more up to maybe 70 miles per hour winds, maybe low 70s on the very highest. I don't think it's going to go any better than that. However, the H, uh, I believe it's the H wharf is showing way more. Now, if you see the, the anomaly that we have coming from November 15th to November 19th, I can't stop reminding you guys to pre-warn you guys. It is showing even more intensification and more grouping of the velocity potential anomaly for that time period. And I will show you a little bit more on that. Now, this is a G GFS V16, Subversion 16. 
it is very accurate. It is very pinpoint. It's really been holding this storm all the way to where it is now. It's been it's been on point. And if you see that right before it gets to Cuba, it gets to 90, 88. That's right around close to that's close to uh, high 60s, almost 70 miles per hour winds. 984. Really, you can expect uh, hurricane force winds will be inside of it. Uh, 987 really is on the edge of Cat 1 hurricane. But without the winds, you really can't label it that way. That's in 48 hours. Now, when it passes that, it goes down to 986, and it does strengthen a little bit, but then it, it goes back and forth. Look at that, 985 going over southern Florida, and this is in 72 hours. That would be about 70 miles per hour winds, maybe low 70s. And that's the whole time it's going over Florida. So it's not going to just be like a few hours event. This is more like going to be around for a, a couple of days, Florida. You're going to be having the whole time winds and rain on the, on the north and east side of this storm, and when it bends around southern florida it's all going to be on the east side so you don't have to worry about it uh, mississippi or alabama so far it goes down to 984 which is dangerously close to a hurricane and then it goes up to the east coast i mean 987 is labeled a hurricane but without the winds it it's nothing right and as you see it affects north carolina it goes off to virginia and goes off and if you look down here in the uh, caribbean we still have our anomaly is still showing itself you do got to follow trends, guys. When, when all else fails, follow trends. And this thing is still showing that we have a 948 that's going to be in the Western Caribbean. Probably about, you know, I mean, it's 12 days away. It is a while away. But it does look like it does actually sneak past this time, uh, past the high pressure. And the high pressure don't hit it, and it goes a little bit further. Now, if you would think, all right, such a, a further forecast, maybe it's going to sneak past even more. Can you see there is an opening coming? Maybe it'll stay intensifying, but I do show that there is a second high pressure right behind it that makes sure it stays away. So that's hopefully that stays good news if it even forms. Now, according to the GFS, the GFS I'm showing is accurate information, guys. It is on point, just like the 16. The 16 is showing that this is a 989, 988. Uh, regular GFS is showing 989. But also it's showing that it curves as a 988, so it does show that it does pick up more intensity from Cuba to florida so if this is on a low end hurricane high end tropical storm it will be a little bit stronger when it gets past which means it will be a low end hurricane and hopefully stays that way because it does show that it will weaken uh, once it passes that look it gets all the way down to 985 i guarantee that's probably going to become a hurricane in the eastern gulf but it also will die in the eastern gulf as you can see Now, the, as far as the total precipitation of what to expect, here's the first five days. I will update this, y'all, just so we can get a better view of what's going on. But the first five days is really all that you need because anything past that would be inaccurate. Uh, however, uh, south and west, uh, southwest Jamaica, it looks like you're going to be anywhere from the two to four inches. That's why that has not changed. The only thing that changed is northern Jamaica would be more from one to two inches instead of just one inch. Uh, and as far as... Uh, Cuba goes northern Cuba you have anywhere from two to five inches and southern Cuba you're gonna have anywhere from seven to nine inches so be aware of that you can get all the way up to 11 if that purple comes a little bit more on shore for you uh, as far as Florida uh, Bahamas be careful because let me show you I'll show you right after this one now the H wharf shows that it has good potential guys the H wharf it was not on key before but it is showing some new updated information it's showing that uh, as of uh, 48 hours is it no it's even sooner i think it's 24 hours less than 24 hours right before it goes over cuba because this thing is moving what 17 miles per hour it is going quick it's predicting that it's reading now 71.7 knots y'all 71.7 knots is easy 82 miles per hour that is easy a low end cat one hurricane so according to some of these models now a cat one hurricane is expected now, if you follow the, the H, H Wharf model, you will see that it does weaken back down to a strong tropical storm. So it's not going to carry the hurricane effect into Florida uh, of anything else. If anything, this is really going to affect uh, Bahamas. I'm sorry, not Bahamas, Cuba and possibly Bahamas. Now, if you look right here in the 80, 81 hour, when it gets back out in the Gulf where the GFS shows it powers up and dies down, uh, the H Wharf shows it gets back up to 62 knots, which is back to 70 miles per hour again, which is a very high end uh, tropical storm, not a hurricane. So we will see what happens with that. But it does show it goes right back towards Florida again, 
as a tropical storm. So the southern Florida and northern Florida will be getting hit, with northern Florida being uh, more like a landfall. Now, as far as the total precipitation for you, Florida, when you go all the way up to the five days, you can see clearly that where your inches are, where your area is. You got one to two inches uh, for the northern. You got three to four to five inches all the way, uh, all the way south with pockets up to nine inches in certain spots. So you got to be aware, but mostly five inches. A lot of this is going to be offshore. Uh, as, as well as when you go a little bit further, you see it does hit over land some. And you see a western Florida right there can get up to 10 inches of rainfall. So be aware of that. I don't want to show any further because I want to wait till we get updated information. But it is showing some heavy rainfall is in the track for y'all. Now as you look for Georgia, your, your precipitation, it looks like it will be mostly on your coast. Uh, for your heaviest part, it would be 1 to 2 inches and surrounded a little bit on the north. And when you can check for South Carolina, South Carolina, your, yours is going to be up to 3 inches. Probably somewhere around Columbia towards the coast. There is a pocket of five inches somewhere in there, so be aware of that as well, please. Now, for North Carolina, when it comes up through you and Virginia, it's going to bring some heavy rainfall because you have other systems that's moving across the country that's going to affect you as well. But you will be expected within the next five days to begin up to three and four inches of rainfall, four for Virginia, three for North Carolina, more heavier uh, towards the coast. And here you go, Virginia. Here's your look so you can see your rainfall for the next five days. It'll be up to three to four inches right there in central Virginia. So be careful. It is going to be a lot of rainfall expected out of this event, guys. Now, I will do another update, of course, but it'll be hours away. I want to make sure that we have a good information about this. If it does turn into a hurricane, I want to have information of track and intensity that y'all uh, will have permanently without needing any more updates. This thing intensified. So... Some models show hurricane expected. Some uh, H-Wharf is showing definitely hurricane winds will be expected before Cuba, but it will die down probably from the Cuban mountains. So God bless you over there, Cuba, and everybody involved. I hope we do come out clean from this, but it looks like it's going to be a lot of wind and a lot of rain events. So it's going to be a lot of flooding, possibly a lot of power outages. So be careful on that. Uh, also, if you go to poweroutage.us, you also see that the power uh, information, it updates every 10 minutes. So you can see who is uh, getting power outages. So far, we have 2,000 uh, for Florida, and that's about it so far for, for uh, weather in the central U.S. Oklahoma still has 41,000 out, and because of the fires, I'm sure, and the storms, uh, California has 17 uh, thousand power out but if you click on it it does show your area and your, your county and it'll tell you who's working on your electricity that way you'll know if it's coming back near you and maybe if when it can expect it so god bless you if you lose your power i know that i know that could suck so please do me a favor like this video if this information has helped you if you like these updates i will do another one uh, as soon as i got further information you know how i don't like to bother you guys too often especially on sabbath i do apologize for that Share the video. Let people know that there is new track. There is new information out. The old information is no good. It's not turning early like the Euro is saying, guys. The GFS is the one. Follow the GFS. God bless you all today. I hope you have a great day today. I do appreciate all y'all support that y'all give me. And once again, I do apologize for bothering y'all once again on Sabbath. Let me praise you with a little glory and put you back in your state of mind. Because this is still a couple of days away, okay? Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, will not we fear, though, uh, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, Salah. There is a river. The streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She, sh she shall not be moved. God shall help her and that right early. The heathen raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Salah. Come. Come. Behold the works of the Lord. What desolations he hath made in the earth. He maketh wars to seize unto the end of the earth. He break, breaketh the, the, bow, the bow. He cutteth the spear in sunder. 
He burned the, sh the chariot in the fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Salah. God bless you all today. I hope you all have a great day today. Please share the information and help another. All glory does go to God. Amen.